I want to call upon overzealous heads of security agencies not to be tempted to use a criminal justice system to manage politics. Let us manage politics the conventional way through reaching out, consensus and concurrence. I am informed that members of parliament who voted no have already been targeted by the National Intelligence Service for harassment for their political stand. This is a promise the president and I gave to the people of Kenya that never again shall we use the criminal justice system to manage politics. The president and I gave a categorical promise to the people of Kenya that the issue of, of abductions and extrajudicial killings will never happen again. Sadly, this is back. It is unbelievable that the son of the Honorable Attorney General of Kenya, Justin Bidan Muturi, was abducted at night in a commando style by officers of the National Intelligence Service and held in communicado for 18 hours. Yet, that is the Honorable Attorney General of the Republic of Kenya. What will happen to other Kenyans? I want to ask our law enforcement agencies to dignify the President and I before the people of Kenya and not backtrack on the promises we made to the people of Kenya that we shall never again use the criminal justice system to manage politics. Yesterday, Nuddin Haji was trying to put up a team together to craft lies and propaganda and attribute the chaos that were in the country to leaders, I included, former President Uhuru Kenyatta and others. Yet it is very clear, and the President has admitted, that these protests were caused by the anger of the people of Kenya and the refusal of Finance Bill 2024. I want to call on the National Intelligence Service not to take us back to the dark old days of the Nyayo era, where you create propaganda and schemes to undermine leaders and those you don't agree with.